छम जोड़ गया सेक्टर सेक्टर रावी चना का उसके उसको क्रॉस करके हम निकलते हैं I am Samantha Chopra and I am an IBM IB Science student at DPS International, Gurkha. For the IBM IB Puzzle project, I chose to inquire about the ramifications of the India-Pakistan partition and the effects it had on the livelihoods of the partition generation of my family. I think upon hearing stories from my grandparents and members about the partition and post the partition. I was extremely intrigued as they were thought of working in inspiration and nature. Hum, Pakistan Saint, 1947 May, Pandra Rest Ko Nikal मैं और मेरी पूरी फैमिली लाहौर के रहने वाले हैं और लाहौर से निकल के आए। The four five major cities of Punjab were drenched in blood. Then comes Mountbatten and he starts the negotiations, and that consummates with him declaring on the third of June 1947 that India will be partitioned. Punjab is the key to holding power. Uh, in Pakistan politics, uh, any prime minister or party that has power in Punjab is going to be ruling the country. Uh, because of the uh, importance of Punjab in terms of its numbers of voters, numbers of constituencies, and also of course Punjab is historically linked with another centre of power in Pakistan, which is the army. Act 1. Scene 1. Narowal Shakargarh Road. A fairly empty Tonga with people travelling to Shakargarh Tehsil in the evening. The Malhan siblings, Chetna, Rajinder and Harleen, are travelling to their aunt's house for the summer from Lahore. Rajinder is groggy from his nap as his sister, Chetna, awakens him. Meanwhile, Harleen gazes at the scenery from the window. Raj, wake up! Chetna gently shakes Rajinder's shoulder. He warily rubs his eyes and awakens slowly. Are we there yet? Chetna pulls his suitcases from the front of the Tonga towards the back directly. Almost there. Get your bags down now. We can't afford to miss the stop. Rajinder sighs and gets up from his seat. Chetna walks towards the front of the Tonga as he gazes back at her with sympathy. He then resumes his position beside her lean. Harleen takes notice of his presence and continues to stare out the window. Is Appa coming back? Rajendra is alarmed by the sudden nature of the question and fumbles with his words. Uh, why, why do you ask? Harleen turns around and shrugs. She lays her head on Rajendra's shoulder as a comfortable silence overtakes them. Cheta returns to the back of the Tonga and thoughtfully stares at the two siblings sitting peacefully. Come on, you two, we're just about there. Good afternoon, everyone. I will be talking about my personal projects now. 
The learning outcome of my personal project was to understand more about cooking and to take that knowledge and to create a dish that anyone at any skill level could cook and prepare on their own and eat in their own homes. As such, the dish I had created met that criteria. It was a simple fried rice curry rolled in in an egg roll and uh, cut up in a sushi style design. The egg roll and sushi design came stemmed from Japanese cooking and cuisine, while the fried rice was more of an Indian style, which is closer to home. And I merged the two together to make this beautiful dish. The personal project has helped me learn and understand more about cooking as a whole. Before coming to the personal project, I had no idea about how foods are prepared, all, uh, how cooking worked, all the different techniques behind cooking, what cooking actually is. But after going through the process of this project, I finally understand that there is much more to cooking than just the food itself. The product I had made for my personal project was a simple yet uh, tasty, uh, tasty dish that anyone could prepare on their own. It involved preparing, cooking a fried rice that had very minimal ingredients, only a few only carrots, capsicums, and a few spices to add a bit of flavor, and some stock, a uh, mutton stock, that would serve as the main flavor of the dish. And cooking a flat egg plate that would roll the fried rice curry inside. Personal project has helped me understand more about myself in particular. Because I had before coming to this project, I had no idea that I would be able to work this hard for a particular goal or outcome. Greetings everyone, this academic year I created a virtual tour of Agra, Amritsar and Jaisalmer. Let me share a glimpse of my project through a presentation. Travel had been my passion and exploring new places always excited me. Last year I explored the culture, food and costumes of Amritsar, Jaisalmer and Agra by visiting these places. This sparked me with the idea and thought of sharing my experience by creating the virtual tour of Agra, Amritsar and Jaisalmer in such a manner that it allows all the people to experience new culture. Furthermore, I used my subject specific knowledge of individuals and societies. This virtual tour helped me in extending my knowledge of this subject through learning about the historic places and their background information. I learned names of popular rulers such as Akbar, popular cuisines in different cities 
and also about the cultural clothing which could be used as a case study in the subject. To map my goals and develop it further, I categorized them into specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and testable. In addition, I created a success criteria for a range of the specifications including functions, aesthetics and target audience. Mapping against the success criterion, I was able to grade my product out of 15 points. I scored 14 out of 15 points and the score, scoring was done on basis of the product feedback given by my mentor, peer and the relative, relatives through a Google form. This product also helped me speak with more fluency and improve my voice modulation while creating a virtual tool for each and every city. I needed to rehearse the script and take two to three takes of voiceover before recording the final voiceover. The ATL skill which I developed through this project was self-management skill. In self-management skill, there are three strands, organizational skill, affective skill and reflective skill. I was able to achieve organizational skill by creating specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and testable goals which were challenging and also realistic. I was uh, secondly I was able to achieve effective skills by listening to motivational songs uh, which helped me reduce my stress and anxiety also uh, waking up in front of the mirror each day and speaking to myself helped me practice positive thinking also uh, I was able to achieve reflective skills by identifying the strengths and weaknesses of my personal learning strategies using self evaluation technique strength weakness opportunity and threat this is a SWOT analysis technique used to evaluate my own work. Uh, also, uh, in addition, uh, the IB learner profile which I developed was communicator, reflective and knowledgeable. I was a communicator as I was able to comprehend information about the cultural, historical and geographical background and also showcase my knowledge through voiceover of every place. I was reflective because I understood the strengths and weaknesses of my product through peer, mentor and expert feedback. Lastly, I was also knowledgeable because I was able to enhance my technical skills by exploring a new video editing software to create a virtual tool. To conclude, I've come up with a very interesting slide. The first, the initial challenges faced by me was to come up with an engaging script and also to make the tool informative and visually appealing. My advice for the upcoming batch is to at least tell is to tell them that they should give at least two to three weeks to just explore the personal interest and give do research work so that they come up with a very effective and a successful product. Thank you for your time and patience. Hello, I am Among Chauhan from MIP 5A. My project showcases the lasting impact of colonizers on Indian culture, specifically on architecture and clothing. I showed this through a website and artwork. These mind maps show how I planned my goals, made connections with the global context, and justified my personal interest and the challenge. I have developed two ATL skills. I developed the strand displayed for research skills. I required extensive research and knowledge about the topic and also to learn UR techniques. I have also developed self-management skills as I use technology responsibly and effectively to find workshops to attend and websites to expand my knowledge about the topic. I also manage my time to complete these. These images show my product. You can see the landing page and then the web page where you can find all my posts. At the bottom, you can see one art piece and the about me section of my website. 
I have developed two ATL skills. I developed the strand dispute for research skills. I required extensive research and knowledge about the topic and also to learn UR techniques. I have also developed self-management skills as I use technology responsibly and effectively to find workshops to attend and websites to expand my knowledge about the topic. I also managed my time to complete these. I also showed the attributes of four loan-up profiles. Although I knew very little about the topic, I had an interest in it. My curiosity to find out more about my country's culture and historical past led me in developing the attributes of an inquirer. Secondly, I showed the attributes of a critical thinker. I found solutions to certain setbacks like when I ruined one artwork by spilling water on it, setting myself back by a week. I also lost some unsaved data, but I rescheduled my days to find time to redo it all. Thirdly, I displayed the attributes of a balanced person by giving equal importance to all components of my MYP journey, academics, personal project, and my own personal time. Lastly, through my project, I displayed the attributes of a knowledgeable IB learner. Since my project opened up a world of information on Portuguese and British influences, my point of view of, uh, of them as simple colonizers has altered after this project. Even though this project was stressful at times, I tried my best to prevent my personal project from hindering with my sleep schedule, personal time, and I made sure I had time for academics too. This project taught me that I can challenge my boundaries and learn a new skill under time constraints. I learned how to use acrylic paint, crayons, and outline pens effectively to create artwork. I also learned how to make attractive websites on Wix. The most interesting thing I learned was about how foreign cultures who colonized India influenced the architecture and apparel. Some challenges that I faced during the project was to find perseverance to redo my artwork after spilling water on it and the research which is very daunting since it required very specific information. I found it difficult to find workshops online to learn art mediums. Even though I have completed my project and successfully made my product, I would like to carry on this project out of my own interest since I am very interested in history. Lastly, my only advice to the upcoming batch is to finish up the creation of the product by October so that you have enough time for assessments, mocks, and e-portfolio which will occupy a lot of your time from November to May. Thank you and good luck to the next batch.